Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. I hope you had an awesome, awesome Christmas. I was about to sit down and go through my uh, haul for Christmas, my presents and uh, goodies, and uh, thought I would share them with you, so stick around. Hey everybody, again, I hope you had a blessed Christmas, a great Christmas. Just wanted to share with you a few of the things that are adding to the stash after this Christmas. And we'll start right here with this 63 Chevy Two Station Wagon. This is an all-new tooling from uh, AMT and some great accessories and stuff that come with it. One of the things that the first time I saw it that stood out, of course, was the trailer. Um, I remember growing up, the U-Haul that had the little railing around it like that. Um, and that was just cool. But we've got the Chevy 2 uh, with a custom grill on the front. But, of course, you can do the, the stock uh, or the custom. And you've got a lot of great accessories and goodies in here, too. Nice decal sheet with all kinds of cool stuff on it. Uh, I love the little EMT or ambulance looking stuff there, and there's even a, a light there you can see that you could do with that. So you can make it an emergency vehicle too, but there's all kinds of other little doodads in there. You've got, uh, it says including uh, trailer, toolbox, helmet, parachute. Um, the other thing I like about it is there's five different uh, engine variations in here, but you've got other little things as far as for a diorama. You've got the helmet down here. You've got the old-style metal gas cans up here. You've got uh, a telephone. I don't know if you can see that, but a telephone, like a desk, old desk telephone, and a reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Some of you younger folks won't know what that is. But uh, really cool. Uh, I think there's, at a quick count, I think I counted about 12 sprues that are in here. So it's just filled with all kinds of stuff. Oh, there's one of the old AMT... Uh, uh, engine stands. So of those five variations, you've got an engine stand there that you can display uh, the engine with. But uh, cool kit, and I've got uh, two of those engines kind of in my mind to do something with. Um, also got, uh, after seeing Tim over at Throttle Power do the review on this 30, I've got the 29, a couple of the 29s, and I don't know how many 32s. Um, coupes and sedans, but this thing, uh, I haven't opened it because I'm afraid I'll, I want to start it. And I've got too much going on. I got to get this 40 Ford build done, but, um, I'm really eager to get into this thing. Uh, awesome, awesome kit. Uh, I was going to do a review on it and then I thought, well, there's so many great reviews already done out there and I'm not going to double up on it, but, uh, a really awesome kit. I, I, that was on my list, and my wife uh, took the hint. <laughs> um, also, I got, speaking of that 40 Ford uh, that we're building, uh, a lot of the content creators are building, um, my dad, as I've mentioned, had a 39 and 40, both, uh, a 40 coupe and a 39 sedan that we ran around uh town in for many years, until I was, I think, 13 or 14. Um, I think it was in 1968, he pulled the engine and put a 390 in this thing, and uh, his was black, um, and it had just some, some custom chrome steelies kind of on it, and that was it, but it, it was really a cool, cool car, um, and then talking to my mother, uh, I built over the years, a couple of 39 kind of replicas of his car. Um, but back then, I really didn't have the, the technology available to us, you know, uh, photo etch grills and, and accessories like that. And uh, I'm, I'm really thinking about doing another one. Mom, thank you so much for the reminder about... Uh, um, how much y'all love this car. So uh, maybe seeing that in the future too. Um, next, uh, many of you know, I spent time behind the badge. Um, and so I have a collection of uh, police cars, uh, popo cars, and I have not, I did not have this one, this 57 Ford. And it is just cool. I mean, it is cool. Even the box art is cool 
Is that not sharp? And um, I love this too. I don't know if you've ever noticed if you have this kit, but the interior decals for the upholstery, this is really nice. This is really nice. Um, that may be one. Uh, I, I've got a collection of them built and unbuilt. Um, but I look forward to that one. And another one I got was this vintage, I think it's a 1927 uh, police car. And it's got some cool accessories with it. Uh, you notice the snap-in windows for winter or rain. I don't know if you can see that, but the little snaps that, that snap on. But a cool thing, you got a couple of engine vari variations. I love these decals too. Um, a couple of engine variations, a couple of the old style police helmets from the 20s. Uh, love the megaphone. Uh, double barrel, sawed off shotgun, flashlight, nightstick, just cool stuff. Um, so I'll have fun with this one too. I like building these old cars like this when it comes to, to police cars too. Um, let's see, one other thing that came in on Christmas Eve for me which this is really not a Christmas present, but I've been looking forward to this for my Richard Petty collection. You guys know that I'm a big Petty fan, big time. So this one, the reverse paint scheme from, um, I think it was Ontario. I, I look forward to getting into this one, getting this one in the collection too. Uh, there's just so many, and I think we all are like that. We have so many bills that we want to do, it's just getting to them. Ugh. Uh, that's the tough part. Um, next was a Christmas present to myself, and I got this in Christmas Eve, too. And it was a package from RB Motion. And if you're not familiar with RB Motion, they have some awesome, awesome stuff. I'll get you the, uh, let me take the camera down here and get in the light a little better. I'll get you their logo and so forth there. Um, but they do some machined aluminum. They also do a lot of other accessories that are really unique. Uh, these are, excuse me, these are the distributor cap boots. They are pre-drilled. You'll need to trim just a little bit of flash on some of them. Um, if I can get focus there. And they are flexible too, by the way. This is, uh, I think this is the small block Chevy um valve cover breathers and they are really sharp too and these things are priced great too guys um also in addition to the spark plug boots i have some 90 degree in these uh, the spark plug boots but i didn't have the distributor boots so i went ahead and ordered some more of those and i know this i'm not doing the camera right but and then i got them in the burnt orange as well and the uh, distributor cap boots uh, a couple sets of those and i got some more of the uh, angled the 90 degree uh, spark plug boots and a few sets of those and i also got i was down to only one pack of these and i usually try to keep two of them in and i'm hoping you can see these but they are spark plugs and they are let me see if i can get down like this if it'll focus Come on. Well, maybe it's not going to focus. So, let me try this. Sometimes this will work. Yeah, there we go. I'll tell you what, you can see in this picture of uh, the... Uh, I, I made these for the Maurice Petty Diorama. And as you can see here, the, the ends you can paint very easily, uh, the white, the porcelain around them. And these things are just very, very highly detailed. Man, I wish that would focus better. But you get the idea. Really cool, cool stuff. Um, and this, is, this RB Motion stuff is really good stuff. Go over to their website and check them out. Uh, you won't be disappointed with the stuff that you find there. Also, um, this this last thing is something that um, is more for the channel, and I didn't get it. My awesome daughter and son-in-law uh, got it for me, 
and I am sitting in it right now, and that's my, my new workbench chair. The, the chair, this one right here, as you see, this is the one that was in my, my workbench review, and, and you see the cushion I've put in the middle. It's been a great chair. I had this chair for 20 plus years, and it's, it's been a great chair. It's just uh, the padding's worn out of it, and like I said, I had to throw that cushion in it, and I was really subconscious about every time I would move making videos, and I don't know if you ever noticed or not, but every now and then it creaks and squeaks and just, uh, it gets on my nerves. It is about to run me crazy. And uh, so Christmas morning, uh, I had this big box and I couldn't figure out what it was. And it was this gaming chair. Uh, this thing has a great lower lumbar support. Uh, it is extremely comfortable and I am loving it. Thank you guys and love you for it. Big time, Lauren and Matt. Um, but this has made uh, made me feel much better because uh, you haven't heard a squeak. I even tried when I got it together and set it down in the office. Um, I even tried to make it squeak or make some kind of noise. And uh, this is awesome. <laughs> so I'm not going to be so subconscious about uh, making noise while I'm trying to do a video. Um Coming up, I'm going to try to, this week before the, the first of the year, go ahead and get the video out on scratch building radiators. And I may do one more update on the 40 Ford build, um, if, if not before the first, on or around the first. And I don't know that I'll do another one until uh, the debut on the 15th. And I, I don't know about that yet. I may do it. Uh, I, I may do it before that. I, it just we're just going to wait and see. I may do one more after that. But um, I hope you had a great time. Hey, list in the comments what you got. Uh, if you got anything that I got, let me know. Um, I'm hoping to get back in the stock cars. I'll do a, a plan that I've set aside for 2022 on what I'd like to build, and um, uh, some how-tos as well. So uh, I'll be sharing that with you coming up pretty soon too. But guys, thank you so much for the subs and the, uh, the support. Uh, we have truly, truly been blessed, and, and I can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate it. I really, really do. I enjoy this. I, I, this has been my hobby, my escape uh, for many, many years. And, and I, I just love it. And I'm, I'm having a blast sharing it with you. And, and, uh, um, Hey, we learn from each other and that's the great thing about this hobby. Well, I hope you enjoyed this again. Leave me a comment on, uh, what you got, uh, if anything for Christmas and, um, uh, what's, what maybe is next on your agenda for, uh, the upcoming year. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hey, don't miss out. Hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell, and uh, you'll stay up to date on everything. Guys, have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.